Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out the new, well, new to me, the new Revlon One Step Dryer. I've heard so many good things about this. I have watched so many reviews, probably literally, I'm not even kidding, probably like 30 different videos on this. And I decided that it was finally time to test it out for myself. So I am so excited to be doing that today. So yeah, if you want to see, I feel like I'm doing that little Thanks for watching Disney Channel thing with this. But if you want to see how this performs on very, very curly, thick hair, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just took a shower and I just put my hair up in a bun while I did my makeup because it said it's supposed to like not be soaking wet. It's still pretty wet, but I think it'll still work. And this is my hair, very curly and thick and long. So when I get out of the shower, what I use to brush my hair out first is I put a little of this Coco Magic 10 in one leave-in treatment in at the bottoms. This is like a thicker leave-in conditioner. And then I also put this at the bottoms. It's Strong Sexy Hair Core Flex. It's anti-breakage leave-in reconstructor. This I have really been loving because it helps prevent split ends. It says up to 80% less breakage, which I love that. And I use this at the end, which is the same brand. It's called Steel the deal which mends split ends up to 92% so this is a split in mender lotion and this you use when you are done styling your hair and you just run your fingers through it and I love this stuff and then to brush it out I put this all over my head this is the coconut defrizz shine leave-in repair I really love this stuff I got this at TJ Maxx for like six dollars so yeah so I'm gonna go in and spray the Aussie total miracle heat protecting spray just to you know keep my hair protected from this hot tool to really get my ends because I don't want to have split ends anymore. And then I'm just gonna section my hair off like I typically would. I'm just gonna go ahead and split like right above my ear and pull all that down and then just clip all this up. I never used to blow dry my hair before I got my hair colored recently. I always just let it air dry and then would straighten it later. But since I got color put in it, I am trying to straighten my hair or put like very hot heating tools on it as least as I can. So that's why I've been blow drying it. I feel like blow drying it, it's still putting heat on my hair. At least I'm not going in with my hair between two hot plates. It's like an opened face heat tool, which I like better than a straightener. I still do straighten my hair a little bit, but I haven't really since I colored it, just because I wanna keep it, you know, as healthy as I possibly can. So that is the whole reason why I got this Revlon tool is because it takes me forever to blow dry my hair. And I'm not talented enough to use a blow dryer and this whole tool brush at the same time like it's just it's a no for me so when i saw this i was like oh my god that is perfect and i've watched so many videos on it and i'm like oh my god this tool is literally gonna be a lifesaver for me like i have to try it maybe i'm just gonna part this in two sections and then we'll do this piece and go from there your controls are down here at the bottom you have off cool low and high i think i'm just gonna go in with cool right now just to kind of get it a little more dry and then i'll go in with high to straighten it actually Oh my God, you guys. My hair is so freaking soft and so straight and not poofy. Usually when I blow dry my hair, I can get it straight, but it is not like this. It's still very, very, very frizzy and poofy. This piece that I strained, if I did it with an actual blow dryer, it would be like literally out to here. I'm not even kidding. Like it would be this poofy. And this is just probably after three minutes of doing this. My hair is so freaking soft. I can't even describe to you how soft it is. I'm already obsessed. Like go out and get you a Revlon because this is so freaking good.
Oh my god. Guys, I cannot. Why am I just now finding out about this product? I could just sit and play with my hair all freaking day. I did this half of my hair in one section and I did this half of my hair in two sections. I could have literally done both sides in just one section because it worked that well. Like, I'm just at a loss of words, literally so obsessed. I'm just so freaking shook. I wish you guys could reach through my camera and feel how dang soft my hair is. What's the softest thing in the world? Cause that's what it feels like. And usually by now, like if I was using a real blow dryer, my shoulders and my arms would start to hurt so bad just from holding it up, but I don't feel like sore at all. It looks like it's heavier than what it is. It's not really that heavy. I would say maybe two pounds. I don't even know if it's that. Who knows? But it is doing so well with my hair and I am loving it. And I was very skeptical because I have very curly, thick, long hair. So I was like, there's no way this is gonna work for my hair because it takes me forever to blow dry it. And it's so poofy when I blow dry it. So I'm just literally shook right now. I don't have any other words, okay? No other words can describe how I'm feeling. It's not quite getting like my baby hairs right here. I mean, it, it's dry and it's straight. They're just still super frizzy, but I can't get them to, you know, like rotate in the dryer or the comb portion. So I don't think those are gonna get any less frizzy. So I still may have to go in with the straightener with those. I don't know. You can kind of see like the frizziness right there. Like see how frizzy it is. Other than that, my hair is super straight. I will say you can see my ears. It does get really hot. You know, if you get too close to your scalp, that hot air blows like right towards your head and it kind of hurts and it burns obviously, but I'm using the high setting. So I don't know if it would be so much if you're using the low setting, obviously it wouldn't burn you using the cool setting, but now I'm just gonna do the front of my hair and I'm gonna work from front to back to blow dry it this way to like give it more volume. So when I like flip it back, it has more volume. So yes, yeah, so I'm just taking my front pieces and then continue blow drying my hair.
Holy cow. Volume. Look at that. Look at that volume. I never have volume in my hair. I usually like straighten it as straight as a board. So this is kind of weird, but I actually enjoy it. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe these results, you guys. Like, I cannot stop playing with my hair. Okay, now that I'm done, I'm gonna go in with the Strong Sexy Hair Seal the Deal. I'm just gonna put, like, a grape size amount. That's probably too much. I always go a little heavier than what I'm supposed to do. And I'm just gonna, like, rub this in my hands and just kind of rub midway throughout my shaft, all throughout my ends to really prevent any breakage. Look at the volume at my hair. Like I am telling you guys, my hair never has volume like this. It's literally just like stick straight the whole entire time. But this is crazy. So overall, I am absolutely over the moon for this product. Like I think it is amazing. I think it is well worth the money. It's not even really that expensive. You can find it at Ulta. You can find it at probably Walmart, I'm guessing. Amazon, I got mine at Ulta only because I'm impatient and wanted it like this day. And I didn't want to wait for it to like do two day shipping or anything. Like I wanted it now. And it is more expensive at Ulta, but I had a coupon. I had also points from my Ulta card. So I probably paid around the same price at Ulta as if I were to get it off of Amazon. I don't know why, but you can get it cheaper on Amazon depending on what color you get. This is the cheapest color on Amazon. I think it's like $39 or something, but in store at Ulta, this was 59, I think. Like seriously, $20, like that's crazy. I do think like the pink and black ones are more expensive than this. I do think they're like the 59 to 61 area, but um, I will leave a link below to get this on Amazon it is so good like if you're showering and getting your hair wet you need a Revlon one-step blow dryer it is seriously the best product I've ever used on my hair and I cannot get enough I will say the only thing that I do not love about it and this is very common I've seen across all the reviews is that the control is down here I wish it was like buttons so you could literally just like be doing it and press the button as you go instead of having to stop and like twist you know down here it's just very inconvenient but it's not a bad thing it's just inconvenient and it does kind of get a little bit hot going around your scalp but again like it's a blow dryer it's supposed to be hot but this it does kind of burn sometimes so just leave that in mind absolutely 12 for 10 recommend this product to anyone that ever blow dries their hair definitely won't regret purchasing this and yeah i love it so if you do try out the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer, leave a comment down below. Let me know, let me know if you loved it. Let me know if this is your first time ever seeing this product cause I would love to know. I'm about to put all my family members on this and tell them they need it because honestly they do. Yeah, so if you liked this video and it was helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below of what you wanna see next. It really does help just support my channel and the YouTube algorithm and putting my videos out there to helping me grow my channel it means so much to me and I appreciate every single one of you that do. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Go on, make the world smile. I got lipstick on my teeth. So yeah, if you like this video, if it was helpful for you. What? So if you like this video or if it was helpful for you. Helpful for? Helpful for, for you? So when I get out of the shower to, oh, I'm looking real cute. Look at my hair. Just not showering. 12 for 10. Whoa, I just about punched myself in the face. I never used to blow my throat. Oh shit, I just touched my nose. Hey, yeah.